Hey, what is going on you guys? It is Mr. No Sleep here from Old School RuneScape and welcome to a brand new loot video for you all today. So today I bring you guys loot from 10 hours of Ogres, Warriors, and Shamans. Now the reason I was killing both of them instead of just one of them is because they have very similar drops and they're also uh, just right next to each other. So I figured it would be easier, makes for a longer title, but more drops, so why not? Now these are easy to kill and uh, they have an awesome drop table in my opinion and the best part about it is free to play players can kill them too now this was done on the iron man account on the side and as usual the gear for this video is full obsidian and my main weapon was a whip but i did change weapons uh towards the end the inventory is just a super set as well as one prayer potion a rune pouch for high alking and a gem bag because these drop a ton of unnoted gems so it's very important to bring that gem bag if you have one don't worry about bringing a herb sack you actually don't need that at all so I did bank this uh, after a few hours when I realized I was not getting any herbs. I almost forgot my bone crusher, but don't you guys worry. I was going to go right back to the bank and get it. And while I was doing so, I got a dragon empling. So that was pretty awesome. I wasn't able to catch it barehanded, but luckily I did have a net. And that netted me three dragon daggers. So that's, uh, yeah, good start to the video, I guess. Now, the way I killed these is certainly not the way that everyone should kill them. I think that you just have to try out this area and depend. Depending on your combat level, you just go from there, depending on the amount of food that you want to bring, as well as if you want to use overhead prayers. What I quickly learned is that the Ogress Warrior, and I do hope I'm pronouncing that right, uh, doesn't really damage me too much with melee, but the Ogress Shaman definitely damages me much more with magic. So that's why a little into this video, I decided just to pray magic, and I'd only really bring like one or two prayer potions every inventory, and uh, I didn't really have to use too many prayer potions for this video, and due to the fact that the uh, these were pretty quick kills in general. I definitely found it worth a while to bring that prayer potion so that I wouldn't take any damage at all from the shaman because I was wearing armor and he was hitting constant sixes and eights on me. So yeah, it's up to you if you want to use prayer here. I just thought it was worth it and, you know, got plenty of prayer potions in the bank thanks to my last couple videos, so no worries about that. And the 10-hour grind has officially started. There was the timer and it was working out pretty well. I had never really been here before. I've certainly never killed these these things before and I've honestly never even heard of them until recently. I did get a few suggestions on my hill giant and on my ober video since I referenced free to play multiple times that I should look into these and I just never really felt the need to until I googled them recently and I saw the drop table and I was very surprised at it. What was more surprising is that they were released December 7th 2017. That actually made my jaw drop because I really thought this was like a recent update but I guess I'm just a little out of the loop sometimes. But Needless to say, these are a great way for free-to-play Iron Man to obtain rune battle axes and rune full helms, as well as a ton of runes and gems. And for like the bare minimum requirements, the wiki does suggest that you have over 45 range or 13 plus magic if you're going to be safe spotting them. Luckily, you can safe spot these things. But of course, I was just going to melee them and face tank because that would get much quicker kills per hour. And they're also known to be an effective alternative to ogres for a Slayer task and, uh, you know, the Corsair Cove resource area, which is where this is located, was not crowded at all in pay-to-play worlds. I haven't checked the free-to-play worlds. I would imagine that there's a decent amount of people here, but uh, in general, I only ran into one other person and they were just using uh, magic and safe spotting. Using a Ring of Wealth was definitely important here because you get so many coin drops and luckily the quantity of those coin drops is 500 to 1,000. And on top of that, you're going to be high alking a ton of rune items as well as a mithril kite shields so you're gonna have a nice coin stack if you do camp this area really looking forward to seeing how much we have at hour 10 a lot of these drops are stackable and so that makes banking pretty easy for this one the only thing i was banking was my insold heads and of course all of the gems so the gem bag really came in handy and all the rune drops kind of just stacked up in the inventory as well as the arrows luckily you're not just going to be getting iron arrows like you guys have seen in a lot of these uh, past loot videos this one has some steel arrows and mithril arrows and a decent quantity at a decent price So those are going to be stacking up as well Occasionally, I would receive a long bone here or there That is because it is a 1 in 400 and as it goes for the rares here The only two that really stick out is the curved bone Which is 1 in 5k and a shaman mask, which is 1 in 1200 Unfortunately, that shaman mask is only worth about 5,000 coins But it's, you know, it's a little fashionable So I hope we are lucky enough to receive one 
one. The rune items that you guys have probably seen me high out by now are just the battle axe, the full helm, and the medium helmet. That is it for the rune. You can't get a kite shield or a plate body. Nothing too crazy, but still worthwhile for, you know, anyone to pick up a rune item. Bone Crusher was finally used. I hope you guys are proud of me. 200,000 charges in that bad boy. So, you know, got a long way to go until that runs out. So I should be getting some prayer XP in these future loot videos. I kind of changed up my plan. Uh, not that it's that important to mention, but I am going for 20 mil strength XP and 20 mil attack XP. And then I will be getting 99 defense. So that should be in a couple videos from now. Now this Slayer task, specifically Ogres, uh, can only be assigned by Vanica. So it's kind of a lower level Slayer monster, but that definitely makes sense seeing as it is free to play and they are low HP. They're only 82 HP. So they are easy to kill for most people, I would imagine. And again, you can't safe spot them. So that's always good. The max hit of them, no matter what you're killing is an eight. So you're able to tank, even if you do have lower tier food and you're face tanking them. Halfway point in the video, five hours in. Look at those death runes, chaos runes, cosmic nature and uh, law. I mean, that's really nice for free to players. You can teleport anywhere and chant anything to your imagination as well as fire blast anyone you want. So yeah, I mean, these are very useful runes and I feel like they're all the similar amounts. I mean, you will get a little bit more chaos than everything else, but very useful runes. And these runes will certainly come in handy because I do have another safe spotting magic related video soon on this account. So I'm looking forward to that. You guys gave incredible support on that czar video, 20,000 fire strikes. And again, a big thank you to you guys for the continued support on the series that is really what's keeping it going so as long as you guys keep enjoying it i will keep on doing it we still have like 17 days left in the month so let's keep going i'm trying for like 17 more videos at least tomorrow if my fingers can handle it you guys will be seeing loot from 10 hours of demonic gorillas so i hope you guys are ready for that wish me luck on the zenite shards so as i mentioned in the beginning of the video you don't need to bring a herb sack or i guess i should say herb sack i think i upset said a couple people in my aberrant specter video saying herb with the h i don't know i guess i was saying it wrong but I'll, I'll work on that so you definitely don't need that but you will be getting seeds like once every 200 kills and renards are one in 623 so those were the only ones that i was going to pick up and luckily i did get two of them so that's pretty nice and i finally did bank my whip i did change weapons to an obsidian sword with the obsidian set i wish i had a berserker necklace that would make this much more uh uh, beneficial but i wanted to get some strength xp and for some reason i lost my dragon scimitar i don't know how that happened but yeah i didn't feel like buying it back so i stuck with the obsidian setup and my kills slowed down a very little bit like maybe 10 percent slower so it wasn't too big of a deal but yeah i'm just currently working on 20 mil strength and then i'll probably bring back the whip after that so just putting that out there. I also had a lot of tokel, so I bought an obsidian cape as well. Well, I mentioned it in the beginning, and here it is, the shaman mask, looking more fashionable than ever, 1 in 1200, so I will take that. That's, uh, you know, that's an accomplishment right there. At this point, I had about two hours remaining. That was when I started the demonic gorilla video on my main, so I did about two hours of that today, and uh, I guess my kills slowed down a little bit. Luckily, this is actually really AFK area, and the spawn time is fantastic once you kill them. It's very quick so they do attack you right away especially the shaman because he does have distance in that magic hit so very afk you know my, my kill slowed down a little bit because the demonics i forgot how hard uh demonic gorillas were so you know i had to pay a little bit more attention to that account but either way i was still finishing strong here and uh, had a really good time i was just doing that um zombie video on the side for most of this video i think the first eight hours of it so it was very equally uh, afk on both of my accounts uh, i have considered making a third account kind of a level three starter build and doing different loot videos on that alongside these two i don't know if that'll be too many loot videos for you guys but let me know if you want a level three start to finish loot videos loot series only account and that'll that'll be something else i can definitely do it i just need to know if you guys want to see it so let me know in the comment section below i would appreciate that and go figure with nine minutes left to go i did get another shaman mask that is awesome i feel like i've seen that mask in a movie somewhere but i don't know either way two is better than one and here we go ladies and gentlemen loot from 10 hours of ogres shamans slash warriors completed the longest title loot video of the series but that's okay they're equally awesome so uh, i hope you guys enjoyed it i really like this one i love these monsters i'm just sorry that i didn't make a video of them sooner so overall we got 56 insold heads 60 diamonds 60 rubies and sapphires as well as a decent amount of emeralds those will come in handy for any iron man or any player in general you know values value and uh overall 1.5 million 
million coins. That's incredible. Decent amount of runes. Uh, if you're going to use those arrows, if you're a lower level safe spotting, that's a decent amount for you as well. 1,000 myth and a couple thousand iron as well as steel. And yeah, overall loot being 2.9 mil. Great experience and very AFK. I was able to play on multiple accounts while killing these things and I was also watching YouTube. Big shout out to that chapter as well as Graham Hancock for entertaining me throughout these grinds the last couple days. And of course, here is the Shaman Mask up close and personal. Just got to look at it one more time. Uh, of course, showing the Rune Light tab as well. You know, I can't forget that. Shout out to Rune Light. Ogress Warrior, 739. Ogress Shaman, 898. Again, better gear, uh, more kills an hour, worse gear, probably less kills an hour. But yeah, that's about it for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. I'll see you tomorrow night with Demonic Gorillas, hopefully. And if not, it'll be the night after that. But I'll try my best to make it tomorrow night. Thanks for everything, guys. Till next time, Mr. No Sleep, out. Why are you still watching?